Hello, YouTube, and welcome to a recording I said I would do forever ago, maybe a month or so. Let's play Final Fantasy V for Job Fiesta. This is a Final Fantasy V challenge that I said I would take on a while ago. It's for charity, and it's super, super cool. And it raises money for a charity called Child's Play. So what I'm doing is pledging to raise money for charity. Super neat. Now, I've played Final Fantasy IV, uh, five, excuse me, many times before, so I won't explain too much what's going on, but here's the long and short of it. I am only allowed to use four jobs, and I am only allowed to use them when I unlock that crystal's jobs. Let me explain. When Butts, because I'm going to call him Butts, the heck with Bartz, when Butts reaches the wind crystal, he gets a job. When we reach the water crystal, Lena gets a job, and so on and so forth. Those jobs are dictated to me by Gilgabot, who works for the Four Job Fiesta program. So I'm told what jobs I'm allowed to have, and I can only use those four jobs for the entire game. I'm stuck with them. So, I already know what my wind crystal job is, but for the sake of exposition, I'm going to wait to tell you what that wind crystal job is until we get rolling here. So without further ado, let's get this hoppin'. Now ignore all these. These are old games that I had going. We are going to start a brand new game right from the beginning. You'll notice I'm using the Super Nintendo version because that's what I do. Uh, now do I know whether I'm going to read all the voices aloud? No. I have no idea. I don't know whether this will be anything like my other Let's Plays because it's going to be so completely different from them. But this is going to be a good challenge for me because I have never done a challenge for Final Fantasy V before. Or for any Final Fantasy for that matter. So we're going to go through most of the game before we get all four jobs, which means I'm going to have Lena and Galoof and Ferris as freelancers for a good while. Butts is the only one who's unlucky enough to have a job thrust on him right at the beginning. But after that, it's all dictated to me. It's going to be really, really super interesting. Um, I wish I could fast forward through this, but I don't know if there's a fast forward button on this. If you've never seen Final Fantasy V before, well, I think you'll enjoy yourself. Final Fantasy V is a fun game. Father! Okay, fine. I'm doing voices. I always do voices. Do you really have to go... Lena, you need to protect the castle. You mustn't follow me. But... But... Mm, something about the wind bothers me. I must go check the crystal of the wind shrine. Yes, yes. Off you go, Lena's father. Yes, I, I can feel it too, but by yourself, don't worry. But we have to worry. This is a big video game intro. You wouldn't be going off on your own if nothing dramatic was going to happen to you. Spoiler alert. I'm assuming that most of you have already seen Final Fantasy V happen in some form or another. I bet by playing it or watching it, I'm not sure. But I'm not going to worry too much about spoilers. I'll keep major ones from you, but... Um, yeah, I know this game very well. <laughs> <laughs> not so well, though, that I'm great at it. I'm not good at defeating Omega and Shinryu. I'll just put that out there. I've only ever done that once or twice. Uh, I've done it in Final Fantasy IV Complete Election. I think I've done it once here, but only the once. Hey, look, it's the pirate ship where we find Ferris later. Spoiler alert. Oh, other spoiler alert. Ferris is totally a woman. Gee, you'd never know that from looking at her right there. Hi, Ferris. Or Sarissa. If only I could rename them. Oh well. The wind. Uh, <clears throat> the wind. Stopped. Okay, she's gonna be totally like a William Shatner. <laughs> I'll do my best Hans Molman for Galoof. The wind stopped. I've got to hurry. I can't do Hans Molman. <clears throat> no, 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 no. I'll do Monty Burns for him. That's what I'll do. <laughs> Sorry, I've been on a Simpsons kick lately. My partner and I have been watching a heck of a lot of it. The wind! Something happened to Father! Okay, she gets Shatner. She gets Shatner. She gets Shatner. Lena is, is Lena Shatner right now. Enter the Wind Shrine. Hey, look, it's a crystal! Live! <laughs> what? Kaboom! Spoiler alert, the crystal shatters. Bam! Bye-bye, Crystal. I'm sorry, this is supposed to be very important and dramatic, and I'm making light of it. Oh, well. <clears throat> oh, 
For anyone who's been watching my recordings where I include other people here, I swear I will find some way to solve the issue where you can hear the echo of my voice or the other person's voice as we go. But until that point, you'll just have to suffer with it. That is what I say. So shall it be written, so shall it be done. Hi, butts. Seymour butts. Maybe I'll name him Seymour. Yeah, I'll name him Seymour. Why not? No, that's what frickin' that's what um I think that's what Splittable Infinitive did. I feel like she named somebody Seymour. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Big meteor landing! Kaboom! And this was the peak of graphical excellence at the time. Aside from Donkey Kong Country, naturally. Scritchity scratch. Anyway, alright. Now we can take control. We can't go into the... Oh, we can go into the menu. Oh, look at that. Alright. Oh. Well, in that case, I should do my configurations here. Uh, we want weight. We want a nice, quick battle speed. Nice, quick message speed. We want the gauge. Um, probably go memory. Re-equipped optimum. Controller is normal and single. And I'm gonna... I'm gonna go, like, nice and purple. I like my purple windows. Alright. Here we go. You know, when I was when I was younger playing this game, with the graphics being what they were, I couldn't tell that this was just a landing trail here. I thought it was some kind of tower, because I'm an idiot. Uh, I was not a smart child. Anyway, Boko, wait here. Okay, I am so not used to being able to die or not being able to die. Oh my God! I hope someone gets the thief job. I want to be able to die. <laughs> Uh, oh dear. Oh wait, no, I can't. Beca oh wait, no, you guys aren't supposed to know that yet. Oh dear. I'll never be able to dash. That's all you need to know right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit him! Kaboom. For anyone unfamiliar with my Let's Plays, I do cut battles out once we've seen the monsters happen. It's a thing. Boom! Dead goblins. Hi, Lena. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right, Shatner. Shatner. Thank you very much for helping me. I'm Lena. And who? I'm... Hmm. Do we have the Final Fantasy problem of only having six characters? Yeah, we do. I can't name him Seymour. Oh, well. He's gonna be... Um... All right. Bootay. <laughs> he is bootay. That, that's good. I'm sorry, everybody, but that's that's totally his name now. <laughs> bootay. <laughs> uh, I'm bootay. Journeying with a chocobo to nowhere in particular. Bootay. <laughs> that is the dumbest name I have ever heard. This thing suddenly came falling from the sky. The blast sent me flying, and I fell unconscious. Ellipsis. Is it a meteor? Well, gee, I wonder. A meteor. Might it have something to do with the wind stopping? I don't know why I named her Shatner. Well, I don't know why she's Shatner. She just is. Just accept it. Embrace it, folks. Thank you so much. I wish I could repay you, but I must hurry. There's something on the wing. Hey, wait a sec. You have pink hair. How did that happen? I mean, did you hear something? Huh. Oh, wait, no. Vice versa. Oh, well. Whatever. We meet Galoof. He's... I don't know. Who's an interesting... Oh, yeah, he's Monty Burns. That's right. <laughs> I apologize in advance for all the voices in this, in this series. And we're not going to get to the actual fiesta part of the four-job fiesta until we actually get to the jobs, but we'll see. Where am I? Ooh, my head. Gosh, I hope my voices are okay. Hmm. What? What's with me? I can't remember. I can't remember a thing. You hit your head. Is it amnesia? Yeah, because it's Final Fantasy. It has to be amnesia. There's amnesia everywhere. It's like a hereditary condition. Ah, oh, that's right. My name's Burns. A galoof. Anything else? No. I can't remember anything besides my name. Excellent. Cool. 
Okay, well, off you go, Miss Pink Hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm probably just gonna do a whole lot of skipping through irrelevant dialogue. Here's what you need to know. They're gonna go off together, and eventually I'm gonna follow them. But for reasons of being a protagonist, I'm gonna decide not to right away, because I'm a strong, sensitive type, and I can't be seen showing any kind of human emotion yet. Anyway, off we go. Uh, Boutet, thank you so much. Goodbye. Farewell! Excellent. Oh, the old creep. Alright. Well, off they go, and off I go. I am off to... <sighs> investigate my chocobo again. Nah. And there it is. It's a chocobo. Chocobo. Hi, Boko. Boko, let's go. Alright. Protagonist is always... Always my voice. I don't know. Maybe I just think I'm the everyman. Oh well. Hey look, a convenient one one by one square to stop in. <laughs> Ow. Boko! Don't stop so suddenly! Why are you giving me that look? Wark, wark, wark. The Chocobo is talking to you and you think you can understand him. <laughs> I know, it's an old man and a girl and there are lots of goblins around here. Got it, Boko. And Boko's just like, no, 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 I wanted to say you need to lose weight because I'm sick of carrying your fat butt around on my back. <laughs> Screams from up ahead. All right, here we go. Off we go. We are going to go along and we need to fight some goblins on the way. That's a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got ready to adjust the battle speed to be even faster than it is. Oh, well. Hit them! There we go. Bootay gained a level. Yay! I must be in the center. And we pick up everybody, because somehow Boko can carry them around. All three of them. Oh, that's like chocobos everywhere. You can ride like a little... Yeah. Up to like four or five people on a single chocobo's back. Man. Peter would hate these games. How do you get up there? Oh well. You're surprised to see him? He's the main character, dude. I mean, dudette. And yeah, the big emotional you saved our lives scene. And now the road to Tool's been blocked. Dang. Too bad we never had a chance to explore that road. Reasons of plot convenience. But I have to get to the Wind Shrine. Oh, wait. I have to get to the Wind Shrine. Where we find our first crystal. Yeah. To the Wind Shrine. Got to hurry. To the Wind Shrine. This old geezer, too. Oh, the old geezer is just pretending to be hurt in order to listen in to you. You know what? I'm going to go with you. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So... Long and short here is that Galoof's an old creep who's like, Hey, you just want to go with the girly. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, I probably shouldn't skip all this dialogue. But the road has been blocked. What will we do? Uh, I don't know. What will we do? I don't... Uh, I need to get better at my Mr. Burns voice. I think this is closer. Hey, it's really not that good. Do, do. I'll have to practice that. Uh, Let's go! <laughs> right. Anyway. Pardon my really uninteresting commentary. But this is just the whole boring old intro stuff. But now we have Miss Pink Hair and Mr. Beard. Gary Stew. <laughs> Shout out to Splitable Infinitive. Um, I think that... Was that... No, no, no. That was Takari Free. Excuse me. She's meowing kittens now. Um, I don't have anything to give you to... Oh. Right. I don't have equipment to give you guys yet. <laughs> Oh, well. We abandoned the chocobo! Almost right away! <laughs> Excuse me. A cave in such a place. It must have been formed by that earthquake. Boko, it's dangerous ahead. To go alone. You take this. <laughs> Wark? Leaving me behind, you jerks! Anyway. We are in a cave, and now I have more than one people. 
And look, it's a recovery spring, which we seem to have noticed. Except we need to fight first. Crabs! Dero. Boy, oh boy, the names of creatures in this game. Right. Oh yeah, hit the thing. Oh, Galoof, you suck. You suck, you suck, you suck. Oh well. You're supposed to suck at the beginning of the game. It's okay. Slash with the sword. Death. And we got a little bit of experience and off we go. Let's... I don't know why I'm bothering to... Why am I bothering to... Ooh, bats. Steel bats. And Lena still can't kill anything in one hit. Oh well. Neither can Galoof. Galoof's gonna hit the crab. That's just it's gonna happen. Yep. Oh well. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Let's stab the crab. And again. Galoof, can you do any damage to a bat? Yes. Yes. Yes, Galoof. Yes. Use your old man fists. And smackdown. Dead bat. Hooray! Lena and Galoof gained levels. That can only be useful. And now we can heal. This is a spring of recovery. Everything is awesome. Everything is awesome! Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Be right back. Hip hip hooray! Boote gained a level. Yay! Oh, look, a chest. And a fight. Oh, we're attacked from behind by strokers. Isn't that lovely? Ah, new enemy and it's a back attack. Just my luck. Alright, we're gonna switch rows, all of us. Face these foes head on. Oh my gosh, Galoof is taking a pounding here. Kill those things! Or, you know, don't kill them. I really could be more paying more attention to what I'm targeting here. For example, Lena needs to hit that bat to kill it, and then Butts needs Bute needs to hit the uh, other guy. But you know, who's counting? I'm sure there are people watching this going, "You fool!" But that's okay. I have played this game many times before. I know there are no big risks coming up. Hooray! Experience. Oh dear, it is a pirate. Let's all hide. Yeah, okay. That switch? That button. It's button. I don't know the dialogue as well as I thought I did. Oh well. Clearly I need to play more of this game. Be right back. Lena and Galoof both gain levels. Hooray! Leather helmet. Oop, oop, oop. Somebody could use that. Uh, let's... Yeah, let's put it on Mr. Galoof since he seems to be taking a beating a lot. Oh, do I need to heal him? I should probably heal a little bit. Mm-hmm. Not really necessary, but whatever. And the door, it opens! It's like a vampire door with two teeth. Fangs! And this is where we see a ship! It is sailing and there's no wind! Hey, anybody who doesn't know this game, guess what's pulling it? <laughs> You'll see. How does it sail with that wind? And what are those things over our heads? <laughs> Alright, well anyway. Along we wander. So I should tell you about the pledge I want to make. Because I'm, I'm pledging. I pledge... Okay, here's my pledge. I pledge $10 for every game over. I'm hoping I don't get too many. But I will pledge $10 for every game over. This challenge ends in September, so hopefully I'll be done this by then. If not, I'll just donate. So that's my pledge. Every game over, I will donate $10. So I will pull that and I will do it in a lump sum at the end, is what I'll do. So that's my plan. This must be the pirate's hideout. So that ship we saw was a pirate ship. Oh, gee. Thanks, Captain Obvious. I wonder if we couldn't get a ride. Uh, these are pirates we're talking about here. Well, then we haven't but to sneak the ship ourselves. Monty, you sassy, sassy man. Yes, yes, yes. So we're going to steal a pirate ship. Hooray! Oh, and we're going to hit this button. And I don't know if I can get any of the treasure yet, but I don't think so. I forget. 
I forget. Can I get any of this the treasure in this place yet? No, 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 no. So off I go. Ah, right. And there's nothing in the hold. I don't think. I don't think. You know what? I've never actually explored this part of the ship before. And that's the break, so I can't really do that. Um, I don't think there's anything in here except a sleeping pirate. No chests, no nothing. What's he say? Fix the ship's wheel, take the... Sildra! Oh, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Okay, there we go. Ooh, can I sleep in the bed? Hooray, I'm in a bed. Alright, alright. Well, anyway. On the list of things not to do when getting through the slow, dull part of a Let's Play and making unnecessary side detours is probably one among the top. Alright, off we go. We're off! And no, we're not. How do I make it work? I do not know what rake must make, must make move. And just what do you think you're doing? Yeah, Par Ferris gets a pirate voice. Durr. How bold you are, just going to sneak in here and steal my ship, eh? I am Tycoon's Princess Lena. I apologize for trying to just take your ship like that. What? She's a princess? Yeah. Uh-huh. Land, land ship, wind shrine, danger. Ha 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 You're Tycoon's princess! This one's gonna be worth a lot! Stop! No, stop, no, please, I beg you. I, uh, I, I beg you! Hey, look at that. Glimmering pendant, and it's green, but not actually green. Yeah. Anyway. We're gonna spend the night. Yay! We're gonna go get tied up now, because we're into that. Woo! Dirty, dirty. Okay. It is nighttime on the pirate ship, and we are all bound in ropes. This is great. Who the heck said we should steal this boat anyways? Do. Oh. Hey there, old man. I think it was you. Do oh, my head hurts. I can't remember. What a convenient excuse. Lena, have you nothing to say for yourself? Lena is the princess of Tycoon. I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to hide it. But why were you going to the wind shrine by yourself? Because my father is there. And when the wind stopped, I thought something bad had happened. So I snuck out of the castle alone. And then that meteor came falling from the sky. Yeah. Well, anyway. We're coming up in 25 minutes, so I think we are going to get control of the ship and then end the recording there. And I'm also a tad tired, so yeah, that'll happen. But this was the one boring episode, I think, and the next one we should get the first job out of the four jobs in the four-job fiesta. That'll be fun. Spoiler alert, um, Lena and Ferris have the same pendant. Gee, I wonder why, game! <laughs> like... I don't think they were actively trying to hide this plot, these plot details, but... You know, there's a theory going around that Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy V was actually just a spoof. And a big old, like, making fun of the series game, but we'll see. We're heading for the Wind Shrine! And the pirates freak out. And then we're all like, What should we do with these people? And then she's all like, Untie them! And they're all like, What? And she's all like, Hurry! And they're all like, What? And everybody's just like, Ferris, what are you doing? You're supposed to be a pirate. What? I'm saying that I'm gonna lend you my help. Isn't that good enough? We're off to the wind shrine. And off we go. And now we find out how the boat moves. Oh. And, well, okay, in a moment we find out how the boat moves. Hey, you guys who haven't played this game before, y'all ready for this? Because I don't think you're ready for this. I think you're gonna be so shocked. Your pants are going to pee their pants. That's what's going to happen right here. I'm sorry, guys. This recording is awful. <laughs> I'm just really, really tired. That's all. It's been busy. But how? With the wind stopped, how will the ship move? Do you really want to know? She makes the mistake of nodding her head. Zelda, why don't you introduce yourself? And suddenly... Rumble, rumble, rumble... Sea Monster! <laughs> 
Really, really bad sounding sea monster. <laughs> Go 1990s chiptunes. How about that? Zelda and I grew up together. We're basically brothers. But you're obviously a woman. Shut up! I'm a, I'm a man, and that's a thing. Yeah. I missed the opportunity to have the first transgender character in a Final Fantasy. Oh, well. Like, sort of, but not really. I don't think she should have embraced her womanhood. I think she just should have, should have just kept it up. But, you know. Hey, anyway, now we control the ship. Hurrah! And it is here I'm going to leave this recording for now. Um, we now have all four characters. We are going to make a pit stop when we come back in the village just to go and get some items and stuff. And then we are on our way to the Wind Shrine, where we are going to learn what the first job in our four-job fiesta is. So, I thank thee, and I sign off. This is Bidium Riven saying, Good night! And welcome to the newest Let's Play in my far too many Let's Plays. Ta-ta, everybody.